Hi there, this is Ranjit and I have this beautiful HTC One M8 with me. And uh, this is the official uh, version that is sold in India and it's actually the Asian edition. And uh, with HTC One M8, the Asian editions are clocked a little bit higher. The international versions that are sold in US, Europe and other countries are clocked at 2.3 gigahertz, whereas this one is clocked at 2.5 gigahertz. So let me give you an uh, idea using the CPU Z app and if you open this one uh, you see that it's clocked at 2.46 gigahertz whereas the international version uh, was clocked at 2.27 gigahertz i've also done a benchmark with the international version uh, link will be in the youtube show notes uh, and it's the same processor that's the snapdragon 801 and it's a quad core processor the gpu etc is the same it's the adreno 330 2 gb of ram everything else is the same it comes out of the box with android version kitkat uh, regarding the battery, the battery is sealed inside. It's a 2600 milliampere battery. And I have to say the battery life that I'm getting on this uh, M8 is excellent. And uh, to start off, we'll start the benchmarks and we'll start with Quadrant. I've already run the Quadrant benchmark. So let me show you the scores now. And as you can see, these are the Quadrant scores. And we got a score of 25,789, which is slightly higher uh, than what we got on the international version. On the international version, when I ran it, I got a score of 24,330. But here, uh, on this Asian edition, we are getting a score of 25,789. I also run the Antutu benchmark. So let me show you the scores for that also. And here, as you can see on Antutu, I got a score of 36,094, whereas on the international version, I got a score of 36,006. So not a huge difference, very close to each other. I also ran the Epic Citadel at the highest setting possible. And uh, as you can see at the ultra high performance, this is the highest setting. And here I got a score of 57.8, which is actually identical to the what I got on the international version. There also I got a score of 57.8. I also ran this Nina Mark 2 benchmark. I know that it's not very important these days, kind of outdated, but let me show you the scores. And here I got a score of 59.5, whereas on the international version, I got a score of 58.8. .8. So very close to each other. Yes, this uh, Asian edition that is clocked at 2.5 gigahertz is slightly faster, but not very fast compared to the international version. I would say just a couple of percentage points faster. So not a huge difference. And also this HTC One M8 comes with a micro SD card slot and you can add up to uh, 128 gigs of SD card. And the good thing is that we can move some of the apps to the SD card. And let me show you how to do the same. Just go to the settings. And here you move to the app section. Here we have it. And here you see, uh, go to the downloaded tab. Here are all the apps that are, you have downloaded. Do note that not all of the apps can be moved for example, if you go to the Chrome, the app, the option to move is disabled. And for example, on Antutu benchmark also it's disabled. And some of the apps can be moved. For example, uh, let me show you. For example, if you go to Plume, we have the SD card option and we have the move option. Now, if I hit this move option, it says the app will be moved to the SD card. And if you just hit OK, it's going to move it to the SD card. Again, you need to be aware that not all the apps can be moved. Only a limited amount of apps can be moved. And now the app is moved to the SD card. So this way you can move some of the apps, but again, not all the apps are movable. Some of the games also can be moved, but only a part of the game. For example, if I go to Asphalt 8, it says move option, but it moves only a part of the game to the SD card. Let's move that. Also regarding gaming, I did a fair amount of gaming on this uh, HTC One M8 and it could play most of the heavy games without any issues. And I have to say, I had one of the best experience while gaming on this device. So if you guys would like that I do a dedicated gaming review on this HTC One M8, do let me know in the comment section. Thank you for watching this video. This is Ranjit and I hope to see you in my next video.